part of that lies in uh, where I spend so much of my time is my my ideas, my creative works and such. Uh, because I don't I don't have a, a a collaborator on that, and maybe I've just been too picky on this. But basically, it seems like not many people care. I hope I'm not making anybody feel guilty that I don't know. No, 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 I'm not blaming anybody. But you know, I got all this stuff, and it's all it's all just in my head, and it's all very um, prototypical. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, it's all very, you know, in construction, and I have vague ideas, like, and then this, and then this, and then something happens, and then this, you know, there's a lot of, and then, I don't know what happens in this part, I'll have to figure that out in the months and years to come. Um, the few times I've talked to somebody about my ideas, somebody who listened more than five minutes, you know, those have been precious things, and end up just, just going on. Uh, and I had my creative writing class, and I wrote a few short stories on a character, uh, and everybody liked that, and I thought that was really cool. And you know, maybe I'm presuming that nobody wants to listen to what I have to say yet when my ideas are not yet done, because uh, maybe there are a few people who would be interested, you know? I don't know. I haven't really had anyone where, like, I tell them some ideas and they're interested, and then, like, a week later they come back and say, hey, tell me about those ideas you have. <laughs> you know? No one ever initiates that conversation. Like, I bring it up, and then I keep talking, and I keep saying, okay, is, any is anybody actually interested in what I have to say? Is anybody? Yeah. <laughs> I got so much planned. Like, you just got to trust me on that one. Uh, it'd be nice if I had someone like at my level thinking of the same things but you know what that's a side thing it's not technically that i need to meet somebody else just like me who also has various ideas i don't know um i imagine someday when i'm actually making books movies video games and all these things i'll have collaborators you know hopefully people who can be both creatively with me and also my friend you know i think that's that's the best way to to have a working relationship is to actually be friends with the person um but it's not anything that like i need to wait for something to fall out of the sky and fix my problems in that sense you know what i mean um it's really just me my basic habit not talking to people as much as i should and i imagine that'll start to change now that i'm on on the internet here you know uh, because, say, you, t you generally end up talking to a lot of people once you get really on the internet. But, I don't know, I just wanted to air my, my basic feelings on this, and to wonder if anybody else has the same idea, not necessarily with, with quote-unquote loneliness, um, but with anything where just generally you're not caring for yourself in the right way just you, you know you, you just you're just mess, messing up a little bit each day in a certain area a certain area and then like every day you do that and it kind of builds up and eventually you find yourself just kind of feeling bad and you don't even know why um anybody feel that way sometimes because if you do it might be what i call spiritual malnutrition that's that's my idea of it anyway um, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.